So I'm doing it with my phone. It's not going to be as good as normal. I'm taking a break. It's half past seven. And I've been at it all afternoon. Um, yeah. Drilling. The power drills on charge. Um, I have another power drill, but it's the type of breaking stone. It's just far too heavy. And it's great for drilling holes in walls, but no good for shelves. So, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen a video in three weeks, it's because I haven't put one out. But I am doing today. I'm doing it with the phone. I've got 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. Um, I'll put some uh, chicken nuggets in the fridge, in the um, air fryer. Yeah, that's all I've got in the house. Baked beans and chicken nuggets and some water. Because I'm absolutely gagging. Yeah, it's very dusty in the garage at the moment. Um, sawdust. I've been putting up shelves the last couple of days, all afternoon. Um, cut to cut to size, right? Um, but I have been to the car boot um, yesterday, so I'm going to show you what I got. Um, right, first thing I did was I only went to Hull because North Cape was crap the last couple of weeks. Um, and it really isn't worth it at the moment in the winter. There was a half a dozen cars and I spent about three quid before I went to Hull and spent maybe 15, 20 last week. But this week was better. So I'll show you what I got. First thing, I went to the guy who I call the landfill guy. Most of his stuff is absolute trash. But he did have a, a table at the side with some decent stuff on. And this is what I bought. First thing I bought off him. Well, the only thing I bought off him to that this weekend was um, a PS2 controller, third party controller, power supply, AV cable. Um, he wanted 20 because it's got games with it. If you can see the games, you'll see they're not very good games, but there's six games with it. Anyway, I offered him 15 and he took it. And he said he'd rather give it to me than have it pinched off the stall. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, 15 pound. That's not bad, actually. I've just tested it. It works fine. So next I saw um, these a bit further along. Um, this one's sealed. And it's 25 DVD plus R discs and this one's unsealed and it's meant to be 25 dvd plus r but i did notice that tesco it says tesco there not tdk like it says on the ring on the outside it's opened anyway there's 20 tdks in and there's 12 rewritable tescos in there anyway she offered me that for two and i said would you take 50p on that no sorry uh, she wanted two for that and she wanted two for that. And I'm like, no, nah, not really. We take 50p. And she's like, no, I'll take three pounds for the two. So I did that as long as she threw in a USB adapter. So I paid three pound for those. That wasn't bad. Um, that sealed unit and sell for about a tenner delivered. So, you know, it's double your money back. Uh, I got a Rolly camera for £2.50, but it doesn't have a charger, it doesn't have a battery, it does have a memory card, 2 gigabyte. that's not too bad, but it was in with the clearance boxes of somebody else, in with this bag, in, inside another bigger bag actually, but this bag's got Panasonic, and it also has Panasonic charger, which is a, a DEA66, which is probably about 14 or 15 quid's worth. I'm not certain of that. I have no idea on this camera. There's no battery, there's no charger, but the memory card. Anyway, I paid £2.50 for the two of those. So I was quite happy with that. Um, you know, I'll get that back on the card, and then I've got the, the charger for 15 quid. And I'm not really care, caring about the camera. But it was a camera day. And I'll tell you, I'll show you in a second. Um, before I do all the cameras, 
well that's one of them um i bought this panasonic blu-ray um this is a dmp bd84 with its adapter but i couldn't find the remote in his boxes anyway i did fish out a couple of remotes and i put them on the top and i said would you would you sell me this how much is it and he's like well i don't know four pounds and then he noticed that the remotes weren't panasonic remotes one of them was a sky remote and the other one was a really nice sony blu-ray player remote which had probably come in handy for me anyway he said oh no those don't go with that and i'm like i know that i wanted a price on the on on the anyway um and he's like oh no no anyway he took him off me and he, he put me in the car and i'm like have you got the machines that go with them he's like no no i've got them at home and i'm like okay all right okay how much is this on its own he's like three pound and i'm like two pound mate two pound so yeah two pound it was um and that's not too bad actually for two pounds it's a 30 quid machine sorry it's a 40 quid machine with a remote i've ordered the remote the remote was nine pounds for a actual panasonic one the pattern ones are nine pounds but there was one person selling a second hand real one so i don't have to wait for it to come from china and i don't have to pretend it's a real one when it's not it is a real one but nine pounds so the whole thing's going to be 11 pounds to sell for 40. it's not too bad um right cameras um i've got uh this one for two pounds in a nice leather case fujifilm and i've actually put batteries in and it actually works um oh wait you've got to pull that out then you go like that and it should turn on um somebody's washing up oh, that's weird Okay, anyway, this it's working on the back and I'll menu it, format it, because it's got a card in. Uh, okay, format okay, gone. Yeah, um, I put the batteries in, but it has a 16 megabyte smart card and that was two pounds there's a little damage to the flaps which makes it bulge it's had a bit of tape look can you see that it's bulging there it's damage but apart from that it's working fine so i don't know 10 to 15 pounds i think they're going from like 12 to 30 but with that little bit of damage um you know if i get 12 i've, I've made a 10 a profit i think it was two pounds that this one was three and this is a nice camera unfortunately it doesn't have a battery um limpus 3.2 this is a, a mu 300 uh, I think, yeah, Mew Digital 300. I sold the one with blue on the front. It's this that sort of diamond shaped thing here with a battery and a memory card and a charger for over 100. Anyway, you wanted three pounds with two memory cards. <laughs> I wasn't going to grumble at that. It's um, It's got a little bit of a dint there. But apart from that, it's not all scratched up. The mem, the um, there's a bit of uh, branding on it there, which says it's a Olympus Mu 300, and that always gets rubbed off. And this is no exception. Um, all the buttons, apart from that, feel really comfortable and and working. But I can't charge it up because I don't have a battery. If I had a battery, it wouldn't matter that I didn't have the charger because I could just use my multi charger. 
but I've sold both the memory cards anyway already. Um, that was three pounds. It had a 16 megabyte and a 64 megabyte XD card, and they've both been sold already. Um, so I've already had 35 pound back. Um, so that's not bad, is it? Um, this one and this one were the best sales. Not particularly this one, but they came together. Um, I paid seven for the two. This one is a Fujifilm MX1200, 1.3 megapixels. Um, again, it's got no batteries in. It takes four double A's. I haven't charged it up. I haven't tested it. Mainly because I don't really care. Um, even if it does work, I won't be selling it with the memory card. 64 megabyte X, uh, SD. 64 megabyte um, smart media. And that was two pounds. And then this one was the nicest camera. This is very similar shape to the Lumix camera I normally film all my videos on. It's got a lens cap. It's got a, this will come off and go like so. So that it's got a lens flare cap. Um, I did charge it up because it has its own battery, big Lumix battery. It's a replacement, I believe. Oh no, it says Lumix on it. It's a genuine one. And 32 gigabyte memory card. Yeah, I know. In a low pro case. And it's one of these with a the flip out uh, lens thing like that. And it turns on. There we go. There's the lens. There's the, uh, you can see what I'm looking at. And um, yeah. It's autofocus, it does all the usual stuff. It's very similar looking to my own um, Lumix G5. The only difference with this is, this is a built-in lens. So as you zoom in and out, it goes from being a macro to being a zoom lens, as you can see. Um, it also has uh, a flash on it there. And on the end of the flash there's microphones so you can actually use this to film youtube videos if you wanted for a fiver a fiver a fiver yeah really nice and we're talking 80 at least um if not more i'm not really certain the fact that it comes in a nice case with a lens cap memory card battery there isn't a charger. I've ordered a charger. Um, I'm only getting the third party Chinese one, which is, I think it was $8.99 or $9.99 delivered. It's nothing, but it's USB, so it's slower. Um, but yeah, you know, you've got your uh, photo sensitivity and all your different things. It does full HD, it doesn't do 4K. But yeah, I mean, it's very similar layout and everything to my uh, G5, which is very nice. Um, you can set all the buttons to custom, things like that, when you're taking photographs. But you, you, if you take this out, you don't need to take loads of lenses. If you were doing photography, you know. Um, let me just uh, go back to that. Yeah, if you film in and you go to manual exposure or custom exposure, or it has this auto focus, auto filming. Yeah, brilliant. Anyway, five pounds. Turn it off. And as I say, I could sell that for 70, 80 possibly. Um, with the charger, I'm hoping for maybe 90 or 100. Or I might keep it. I don't know yet. There's nothing. I mean, it's a fiver out there. You know, I'm not pushed for to sell it. Um, 
but I might anyway, quite honestly. Um, that whole lot came to £39. And I've already spent, sorry, I've already had um, £30-odd pound back, I think about 35 on the two memory cards in that. I did say £39, didn't I? The reason it was £39, if you've been adding things up, is I got these two as well. Grow clocks. Um, you in the box, Amazon returns, £2 each. Nice. Um, and they're both fine. I've tested them and listed them. I've even had a discussion with somebody about the price. Put them on for 11 50 um, I sent an offer out at ten ninety seven, and somebody sent me an offer back at ten. I told them to decline. They're not getting it for ten pounds when they're new in the box. Uh, they can go and buy a second hand one for that. I don't mind that. Anyway, oh, this came with the blue um, the, the PS two. It's a boot disc and a pirated GTA three. So I think it's modded. I don't know whether it's a soft mod. Or it's a genuine mod, um, but I haven't looked into that yet. All I've done is play the uh, the wrestling game. Yeah, so that's the end. Sixteen minutes, short and sweet. I'll get back to the woodwork, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a beer later as well. Uh, with me, um, with me uh, chicken dippers, whatever they're called. Before I get back to it, I think. Right, nice to speak to you. As I say, hardly any editing because no annotations. I really don't have the time for it at the moment. I probably just whip this into me uh, thing and release it first thing in the morning. So, happy Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it goes out. <laughs> Bye.